Yo, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to a .mogg file extraction tutorial. If you don't know what that is, then you shouldn't be here. I found a huge cache of .mogg files of classics, Run DMC to Aerosmith and more. So I'm just going to be pointing links to those because obviously I don't have them because that's probably illegal or something. But I'm going to point links to those where you could get them if you wanted. And what it is, is essentially, it's a container, it's like a zip file for multi-tracked music. So if I get a .mogg file of a Run DMC track, and I open it up, it's going to give me the kick drum, the percussion, the vocals, the synth, the bass, just like remix stems, essentially. But it's going to be of the original recording. And .ogg files can be opened in Ableton, but unfortunately .mogg files cannot be. So this tutorial is going to show you guys how to get access to the stems and these files that I found. And the way to do that is going to use Audacity. Audacity is free audio software, and it's come in super useful for me for a couple of different things that Ableton can't handle, particularly file length and now these .mogg files. But let's just skip right into it. Uh, we come into Audacity, you can drag your MOGG file into this project window or you can come over to File, Open, and find your MOGG file. As you can see, it's .MOGG, double click. And that's going to take a minute to open, so I'm just going to let that ride out and I'm going to come right back and show you what's going on. Alright, so it's opened up and as you can see here, I've got 12 tracks and it looks just like remix stems that you would get for a remix contest. But what this is, is audio of the classics, man. So if I solo this right here and play it, that's that classic kick drum from King of Rock Run DMC track. Now, as you can see here, these looks like it's doubled, but it's not doubled. It's actually a left and a right recording. So you need to either do it now or do it in Ableton or your DAW, but you need to swing one to the right, one all the way to the left, and then when they're played together, it'll sound like one file. All right. Uh, I'm actually just going to leave it in the center right now, and I'm going to do that in Ableton just so it saves us time. Uh, another thing you might want to do is go ahead and rename all of these because you're going to be exporting them and it might be easier or you can do it right inside Ableton. That's what I do just to save time again. So that's it. Those are all of the stems from that classic track ready to go. And now we're going to go ahead and export multiple. So come to File, Export Multiple or Control shift l Find your folder or create one. You can choose one. You can create one. You also have a number of options for file format here. I just go WAVE because I know Ableton can handle that. I want to export the tracks. Uh, override if existing, they're not. And let's go numbering before label track name or yeah, that's fine. So I'm just going to hit export. And it's going to ask me to fill out names and stuff like that, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Just click OK through all of these, and then it's going to export the files. So I'm going to let that happen, and then come back. We're going to check out the WAV format, and uh, but we should be good to go. All right, it says I successfully exported the following 12 tracks. Sweet, I hit OK. Come over to the file inside here, and let's just run one of these just to make sure. Cool, we're good to go. Now we have the original stems for a classic track ready to go and make our remix. Anyway, I just wanted to make that tutorial because I found a cache of these MOGG files. Uh, a friend of mine pointed me to them and I'm super excited to be able to get those to you guys because I just feel like uh, it's such a win. It's like a pirate discovering a treasure. I don't like to use that word pirate though. Anyway, uh, keep checking the blogs. I'm going to as I find these MOGG files, I'm going to share them with you guys. Anyway, peace.